Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope everyone is doing well today. I am going to conquer another page in the art journal that I'm trying to get done. Um, I'd say there's probably 10 pages left in here that need to get done, and so we're going to work on one today. So what I have is, sorry for the crinkling, I just put that there to protect my page. Okay, I have this dual, I don't know, I don't think this was supposed to be two pages. I think this this is a wipe off page. I think it started out as a part of this and then I finished that and then I just started using this as a wipe off page because there's like no, the colors are kind of cohesive but this is not like this. So this was one of the pages I did in this art journal that is a scripture uh, page. And so this, this is the journal that I don't like because it's got too many purposes, right? So I want to just go ahead and work on this page here. I don't want that other page to be a distraction, so I'm going to try to work on it. It's a little bit at an angle, but it should be okay. So what I'm going to do is first put down a little bit more paint. Um, I kind of have an idea, but you know, when you have an idea, it doesn't, oops, okay, a little bit of paint, Helen, that's a lot of paint. You know, you can get some ideas and then it just totally doesn't work like the way you think it is, it, the, you think it's going to. So we'll see. We're just going to see how this goes. So I just have some acrylic paint up here, uh, just a couple colors that I picked out that I might want to use, and I'm just going to real quickly just brush some on. Um... And um, then we're going to, to try to knock it all back again into the background because these colors, uh, this color on the other page is just kind of an accent. I don't want the pages to match necessarily, but I don't want them to be completely different color waves um, because then it, if you look at the book when it's open, it would kind of distract. So then I'm just going to use, this is just some really crappy, uh, cheap paint that I got at ugh, uh, Marshall's or Ross. Uh, it was a pack for um, a 48 colors, but then I realized that, you know, a lot of the colors repeated themselves. And so I brought one set up here and the other set is at my other house. So... Um, Okay, that didn't cover, see, I mean, they're so cheap, they don't really cover white. And then this is Art Smith Gesso. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, Joanne's. Okay, so Art Smith is Joanne's brand. Uh, this is crap also, this Art Smith Gesso. It's like the other cheap gesso I got at, I think, Hobby Lobby or somewhere. Uh, they don't cover very well. Just do yourself a favor and spit. Look, I mean, look, this is like opaque, right? I mean, not opaque. It's like almost transparent. So you do yourself a favor and splurge for a good gesso. Um, I just need to use this, this stuff up and then when I'm done with it. Now I do kind of like how the colors, and that's what I was kind of hoping that the, the red underneath didn't dry so that some of this, this picks up into the gesso like that because I really did want to knock that color back. But now I'd like to bring some of this cream on top if I can because I don't necessarily want it white either. I'm going to put a little bit of cream. See if we can't knock those black spots back a little bit. Um, anyway, so my these, these paints are, are actually not bad for um, using on your jelly plate. Uh, because they are very fluid and they don't dry too quickly. You know, if you're trying to do some techniques with layering and stuff, uh, they don't dry too quickly. So that's one benefit of them. And really, that's what I, I use them for. I have better acrylic paints at the other house, but I don't have better paints here. So uh, I have to just use what I have. And I do want to use them up, but then... I'm promising myself that I am going to um, invest in some good or some better paints uh, because they have better pigment and they cover better. You know, I mean, it's you use less of the paint when they actually have good pigment. 
So I just need to dry this real quick. Um, sorry for the noise. So I did go to town this morning by myself. My The one lady that I go to town with usually to do errands, she's not up here yet. Uh, she's still where she winters. So I went by myself and I went to my favorite coffee shop with um, a magazine from Stampington. And I sat in the coffee shop and had some coffee. Okay, I think that's probably, sorry about that. I think that's, that's probably okay. I sat and had some coffee at the coffee shop by myself with my, my Stampington magazine. And I just had so much fun. And I did actually see a couple people that I know, which was fun because this is the first time I've seen them since before Christmas. And, okay, so this is just a Dollar Tree, isn't it? Yeah, this is just a Crafter Square um, stencil that I'm going to use here. And um, I'm thinking, let's see here. I'm thinking I want it to go this way. So I want to use some blue. And I'm not, uh, in my postage size stamp desk area I have to work in. I'm putting some blue down, like this navy blue, but I'm also going to add some green, a little bit of, um, I don't know, it's kind of like pine green maybe. Well, no, not, not dark pine green. I don't know. This is very green green. And then I also am going to use some of this uh, turquoise. These, these cheap pen, paints don't even have a color on them. You just have to see. You know, you just see what color they are, right? But that's okay. Like I said, they're not bad on um, jelly, using a jelly plate with them. So let me go ahead and I'm going to kind of just blend that color around. I know you probably can't see. And I'm going to try and get this through the stencil here. So I went to town and I went to the coffee shop. Let's see, I went to the coffee shop first. And then I went to the clothing store, which benefits the local medical center. And I got a cute jacket. I don't, it's kind of army style, but it's a thinner fabric. And it's got like the drawstring waisty thing with the, the little plastic tabs you can pull to make the waist smaller, if, if you know what I mean. Um... So I got that, and then I also got um, a real pretty shirt that I can wear uh, for the spring or for the fall, really. But um, I definitely will need to wear a camisole underneath it because it's completely see-through. But I, it's a, a pretty kind of boho print, and I really, really like it. So I'm sorry if this is pouncing you. I know that this desk is not... Um, Okay, so we got some foliage going on here. That's good. Um, I, this stencil, let's see, I don't know if you can see. The, oh, here. This stencil from the Dollar Tree, I don't, I've had it for a while. I don't think I've ever used it before. But most of the leaves here look more um, tropical, but I didn't want tropical. So I figured this one, and the, of course there's a maple leaf which is not tropical, but this one looks less the least tropical. I didn't want maple leaves per se, but that one looks the least tropical to me. That's why I'm using it. So let me go ahead and get a little more paint if I can here. And I want to do just a sprig coming off the top this way, just up here. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to mirror the other side, but I kind of want to keep the same colors so um, it's not too shocking if I if you look at the spread with the book open, right? Okay, so there we've got that. That's good. I like that. So let me just put that over there. Somebody the other day was asking, do on another video, do I wash or do they were asking everyone who watched the video, do you wash your stencils or not? No, I don't. Uh, only if it has like modeling paste on it. Otherwise, if it's just paint, I, I usually don't. Now, if you're going to use watercolor through a stencil or watercolor based ink through a stencil, then yes, you have to wash it off because the next time you use it, you'll activate the watercolor and it will come off on your picture. Okay, so I like that. So let me, um, let me think what else I might want to do. 
one thing I definitely want to do is I want to incorporate some of these little watercolor um, fodder things that I made in my last video. I'll link it at the end in case you didn't see it. So I want to use some of them on here. Um, and I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. But I'm thinking if I just plop a bird like here, he doesn't really show that well because I've got those colors in the background. So I'm thinking what I need to do, and this might be a big fail, but we can always hope it's not, is I'm going to get out the cheap gesso and I'm going to try to blend a little bit in the middle here to give it to give I know I just painted I just stenciled those so you're saying well why are you covering it up well I'm covering it up because I want to mute that background a little bit so that um the bird's going to show up that and that might be way too much that I just used so what can we do I know what we can do let me do that um we can use the finger tool right let's use the finger tool and bring it down a little bit up a little bit, over a little bit. Let's mute some of this out so it's not so perfect. And then what we can do is, if I can reach, sorry for the reach, guys. Oof. So while I was setting up for this video today, it occurred to me that this postage side desk I'm working on here is actually a drop leaf table. It's a, it's a very pretty one too, so I've got it very well covered. I'm going to remove a little bit of the white with a baby wipe. And I'm just going to kind of blend. I wanted some, but not too much. So I'm just going to blend a little bit like that. So now, what happened to my bird? If I put him there, see, he stands out quite a bit better now. And it did smudge the, the leaves a little bit, but that, that's okay. I don't care. So, um... Um... Yeah, so this desk is very short and, and, and narrow. I can actually, I have room that way for probably almost this size desk again. Only a part needs, I mean, the window is very small. I'm sitting in front of the window here. I can get a longer desk. All of it doesn't need to be in front of the window because I can only see out of, you know, some part, right? I mean... Yes, I could have a huge window, but um, I would still sit here, but then I could have more space to put stuff, this stuff, that way. So I'm going to be looking for a table on Amazon Marketplace or someplace, you know, just for a rough table that I don't care if it gets painty or whatever. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so that's good. That's dry-ish. So let's get some of this stuff that I made here. And let's see what we're going to do with that. I don't really don't need that right now. And I don't need that. Okay, let me... Let's just see if I can pounce off some of that color here. Okay. Let me put that in the water so it doesn't get gross. Okay, so what I wanted to do was, like I said, use some of these fodders that I have. And I was thinking that I might like to just do a random-ish pattern of these flowers going up this way. Let's see. Do something like that. And yes, I know, I realize I'm covering up a lot of the green, That, but that's okay. Do something like that. Now, what happened to that bird? Oh, here he is. And then I was going to put him here. Okay, now I need to keep that flower away from his head because if I, these are again, because they're the same from the same paper, I need to keep him where he can really be seen. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually reverse it and put that one there and the two yellowy ones, maybe like that, something, something like that maybe. And then do this one here and like this one here. I was thinking of doing something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get that down. Where's my glue? So, yes. All right, so I went to the, you already know, I went to the coffee shop. 
I went to the clothing shop. Then I went to the library. And this is all within walking distance because it's there's a tiny little main street. So I went to the library and I looked at the free magazines. They had boxes of free magazines today. I don't know if somebody just gave them a huge bunch, but I behaved myself. I only came away with three new magazines. And um, yeah, that's unusual for me. However, I've got a lot of magazines here and I'm not trying to hoard anything, you know, so I, I behaved myself, even though I, there were more. And actually, one of the magazines I bought was a Better, not Better Homes and Gardens, a Woman's Day, I think. And um, I bought that mainly because it had some good recipes in it. I'll cut, you know, I'll harvest it and everything, but it, it had some good looking recipes. So it was also a, a Easter or yeah, it was an Easter edition. It's got some Easter stuff like kids crafts or something on the front and um see with this glue you do have to come kind of go back this is the foam and poster glue by beacon uh that we used to get at the dollar tree but it's good glue you just you know and also it is this this surface is not completely dry um i did use the hair dryer to dry it a little bit but it is kind of damp so if you have to go back and press a little bit it's no big deal right so I'm salvaging these pages and trying to get rid of them. But I did also tear out a lot of pages from this journal as well as my big honkin, um, was this the other one I was gonna use? Uh, glue book because it's good mixed media paper, but I'm sick of working in the journal. So I just want the journals done, done, done. And I know this one will get done. I know my mixed media motivations uh, will get done. Hopefully by July, I'll get those ones done. And I mentioned, I think, in my last video that the I'm going on an art retreat with some YouTube friends at the end of this month. And they're all bringing their Dilusions journals to do some, some um, work, art, you know, art journaling and stuff. I don't have a Dilusions um, journal. And one of them said, yeah, if you wait till like Joann's or someone has their 40% sale, you know, you can get, or 50% even, you can get them at half price and they're a pretty decent price. And I know a lot of people I've been watching doing like watercoloring and stuff love those journals. And I really, really want one. But I told them I will be bringing this one because this, ugh. I really just don't want a, I want a Dilusions journal. I don't want this one anymore. But that's not the way it is. I have to use this one up, right? That's, I do. I just do. Okay, so we've got him on there. So I like that. So can you see that? I hope you can see that well enough. There he is, right? Okay, so... That's that. Now, I think I do want to put a little more mark making on top. I've knocked so much stuff back. Um, I might do some more mark making on top. But the first thing I need to do is I need to get my pens here. And I will use this Sharpie right here. I have managed to get his little eyeball there we go. And his little beak. I covered them up too much. There. Okay. And I covered them up. So I do want to just give him a little bit. There we go. Give him a, just bring his face back basically. Okay. So that's that. Um, and so now see how you can use these fun little watercolor things. I mean, you can go to town with these and guys, I know you have way more stamps, uh, that you're not using and stuff. I have so many at home. I can't wait you know, to play some more when I get to the back to the other house. But I'm, I'm not hurrying to go back there because I want to be here, actually. Okay, so we've done this. Now, like I said, I want to add some more mark-making back. I don't really have a lot of mark-making things here, but I do have a little tiny piece of bubble wrap, but it's, I don't even know how bubbly it is. So I thought, let's go ahead and, all right, I've got a little bit of red paint still here. Let's go ahead and see what happens if I put a few red marks on it. 
just to bring some color back. I'm cleaning my brush back off here. It's got all the gesso on it that can go away. All right. All right, I, I love making my own fodder. I think these are so cute and who knew, right? I mean, I've had these stamps just sitting there and how easy was it? See now this, I got way too much paint on here, I think. I think that this right here might be a problem. It might, let's see, okay. Yeah, see that's very, really dark, but that I guess that's okay. Okay, that's a hair. Okay. <laughs> I just popped one of the things. Did you hear it? Okay, we need one more. There. Okay. All right, so I'm going to just leave that like that. Now, I saw in the magazine that I was at the, uh, when I was at the coffee shop this morning. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So after the coffee shop, I went to the other places, the library and the clothes place, but then I went to Dollar Tree and I looked around there for a little bit. I did get a couple things. Um, some things I can't talk about um, now. What, let's see, is there anything that I got that I can talk about? Oh, uh, yeah, I got some paper clips. You know they have the boxes of the larger paper clips. Well, they have the, um, oops, sorry, they have the colored ones too, the, the larger colored ones. My Dollar Tree at, at the other house does not. Now, so what I saw in the magazine when I was sitting there was, oof, did I glue this to that? I didn't even use that much glue. Somebody had made a page, and I'm not sure if this is going to work. We're going give it, to give it the old college try here. She had made a page and then made a little window for her focal point from, I think she used vellum, but I'm not using vellum. You can see I'm using parchment paper. I don't have freezer paper. I don't have tracing paper. I don't have anything like that. I just have parchment paper, so I just kind of use what I've got, right? So what she did was she actually just made a little like cover for her focal point, which I thought was kind of cute. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna attach it with some masking tape because why not, right? Now this is a big old honking roll of thick masking tape and I don't like it that thick. So what I'm doing is I'm going to, I'm just tearing it and making thin little layers. And so the reason that I'm doing this, which I will show you in a minute, um, yeah, I'll show you in a minute why I'm doing this. Because you might be like, what? Why put that there and then cover it up? Oh, you know what? We need a sentiment too. And let's not make all the strips the same size, Helen. Let's add some variation, okay? Let's try to be a little bit not so matchy matchy, okay? This here. I might have to go back and um, glue this paper on or glue the tape down or something if it doesn't hold, but it does hold, so there we go. Okay, and I have an extra piece of tape that I'm just gonna, for no reason other than I don't want it on my desk, I'm just gonna stick it there. Okay. Now that I've got that tape there, now I think I want more tape because <laughs> you can't really see it. So let's repeat that pattern with this tape here and just put a few more layers on. I know, I know. You don't have to say it because I'm well aware. <laughs> it's like, what is she doing? Why is she doing this? Sometimes I question myself, but a lot of times I do like the result. Um... I like the look of masking tape anyway. I think it's it's kind of grungy and kind of fun. So I'm gonna, just gonna layer a little bit up over here and then maybe, mm, let's put one more piece here like that. 
that and let's just put I've got two more I've got some more pieces here so let's go ahead and tear okay that was a really thin tear Helen that was kind of ridiculous let's go ahead and tear this all right let's just come up here and put some up here um anyway I completely forgot what I was talking about well, after I'm done here, I'm going to go do some work outside because it is absolutely beautiful here. And then I'm going hiking again this afternoon. So that'll be fun. Yeah, no, I don't like that piece there. It's too, too, and I don't really like that end. It's too, what's the word, linear? That's better. Okay. What? Okay, just leave it. Just leave it and get rid of that tiny piece. You don't need to use that. Okay, so now I've got this here. I said I wanted to use a sentiment, so let's use a sentiment or something. I've got this pretty music here. I'm going to use these music notes. The question is, where am I going to use these music notes? Um, this is another stamp that I did make the little... Uh, let's use it right up here. That will still open. So let's use it right there. I like that there. I'm layering it on top of the masking tape and the other flowers. Oh my gosh, I love these watercolor uh, fodders. Oh, and I'm working, oh, okay, I'm working on some other ones. I'm gonna be doing some doodling ones. I'm working on some doodly ones. So hopefully soon you will see some of my own doodles I'm working on. So we'll see. I found somebody, and I, ca I can't tell you who right now because I don't remember what her name is, and I don't want to just like lead you on a wild goose chase. So I'm not going to tell you what her name is because I don't know. But I found her video yesterday, and I watched a couple of her videos. She does a lot of watercolor and stuff. And um, okay, I like that. I like that. So let's take a look. The reason I covered that bird up, okay, see how now the pages look a little bit more cohesive because I got the red in here. There was no red on this side and I knew that there was some red on this side with these music notes. So now I've got music notes here and even though they're different, I've got music notes here. And the reason I hid this bird is because I've got these two here, but then if you open it, you can see that one. So I didn't want to have all the birds showing, but he's there. So if you want to see him, you can just do that. And I kind of thought it was fun to tape a piece of, you can faintly see him through the um, parchment. I don't know if the cam, yeah, I think on camera you can see, you can faintly see him through there. But um, now the pages kind of look a little bit more cohesive together. Like the colors aren't like this page is all pink and blue and this is yellow and green or something. The, the colors are pretty much the same on both pages. Even though it's two different spreads, it's not so shocking to the eye. And I did kind of repeat the uh, elements with the music note and having the bird. But I was just super excited to use these little watercolor things. That's why uh, these fodders. So that's why I went ahead and did that. And see now here I do have some black mark making. So let's go ahead and do a little black mark making on this side. I also ha I see I've got some... Um, that's a rub-on. I think these are Tim Holtz rub-ons. I don't have those here, but I do have some little marks in here, and I've got some birdie feet stamps. I know I don't have that one here, but I don't want it to be exactly the same, like I said, but I want to... Now, let's just see here. I'm not sure... This is a, a thick one. I think I... Yeah, I do have a Sharpie, a fine, a fine liner Sharpie. Now, here's the thing. I killed so many microns already. I'm never going to buy those again because they don't work very well on surfaces like acrylic, at least not for me. And I have killed so many and they were, you know, they were I mean, they weren't like wickedly expensive or anything, but they weren't cheap either. They weren't like Dollar Tree pens. 
This you can get at the Dollar Tree. So I said I would be buying some cheaper pens from now on because I do like to write on um, acrylic paint and so on and so forth, and I'm not wrecking any more pens. Okay, so I've got that, but this one is a, oh, you know why? This this page here has been covered with, um, what's the word? Matte medium. This has got matte medium on. I was like, why is this such a deep color? You know how you put medium on, it just really strengthens the color? Well, this one does not have it on, and I'm not going to put it on, um, I'd have to take all this off, which isn't, well, no, now that I've glued this on, it would be kind of difficult. Okay, this piece of tape is irritating me. That's got to come off, and a new piece has to come on. And I know, I know, you're saying, Helen, it doesn't make any difference. Probably not, but to my eye, it does. So I'm going to go ahead and put a different piece on. Okay, like that, and like that. Okay. Great, now it's sticking over the top and I've got to cut it off. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, so I, I'm going to leave this. I think I'm not going to go ahead and put the medium on it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, mainly because I just want to be done with this journal. And I think there's enough... You know what? These black ones... Oh my goodness, no way. That's way too fat. Don't I have any pen? Let me see if one of my microns works anymore. Do I have a big fat micron? 0.2, 0.8. Don't I have a one point micron? Yes. Oh, that's 0.01. Is that good or bad? Is that fat or skinny? Nope, and it doesn't even work. Ugh. Yeah, don't, don't invest in microns if you're not... Oh, goodness, that one's so thin. It's like a needle. Uh, yeah, if you would cry if they get crapped up. All right, let's see if this pen, I want to darken these little things. Yeah, this one works better. And this, I think, what is this? This is a Uniball Micro by Faber-Castell. And I think I got a whole box of these from a yard sale or something or a, a, a thrift shop. Maybe it was a thrift shop. And these ones do work well. These ones work over all kinds of media. Media. Medium. I don't know which one's right. Okay. All right. Okay. There. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. Okay, so that is my little spread. So I got one more page done. And hopefully you will think that I resurrected this really ugly page and made it a lot better looking and also more cohesive with this page. That, that's one more page done in this journal. I'm so excited. So guys, try this little method here. Just tape it in, put a little parchment or a little uh, vellum or whatever kind of uh, tracing paper, any kind of, kind of semi-opaque paper and, and try this little element right here. All right, I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And to all of my new subscribers, hello and welcome. It's so nice to have you here. Guys, until the next video, I hope all of you are truly blessed. Bye-bye.